Welcome back. Well, this is homecoming week for UK, and of course, a lot of folks will be tailgating at the game on Saturday. And today, we welcome Janine Faber, a Meyer dietitian and healthy living advisor, with some ways to add some healthier options to your yes. tailgating dishes. Exactly. And this doesn't mean you can't have the occasional, usual tailgating fare. I'm not saying that at all, but if you tailgate on a regular basis, all those calories can really add up, and then our obesity rate is already kind of climbing up there. So these are just great options you can okay. have in mind. And you can just make a couple changes here and there and still save some fat and some calories. So tailgating is a long experience. Folks are out there for yeah. hours and hours. And if you're eating yes. that whole time, then you really are second on the calories. So this is exciting to hear some options that can be crowd pleasers as well. Exactly. Very, very tasty. Because I think we think of healthy as not always so flavorful. And I have some very fun and flavorful and quick ideas. And the first one I have is instead of like an onion soup dip mix with your potato chips, instead I have a yogurt, a chipotle yogurt dip. So it has a little bit of one chipotle pepper and adobo sauce hmm. mixed with, we have chibani yogurt, and this is the non-fat, the plain variety. You just mix it into a blender, and you have that um, available for you. It's, it has a little bit of a... Um, some heat mm -hmm. for you, and then you can dip it with some whole grain to tortilla chips and some vegetables. I have carrots and celery there uh, for dippable options. And I used Nuval, our nutritional scoring system, to find the higher scoring tortilla chips. You can also use um, canned, already prepared salsa, such as the corn or black bean that we have available. And then for the main items instead of your hamburgers and hot dogs. If you still want something like that, you can have a gourmet chicken sausage that we offer. Those also score higher on Nouvelle. Or there's a, this delicious pork tenderloin. It's marinated pork tenderloin. It's marinated in garlic, a little bit of brown sugar, and then some balsamic vinegar and also soy sauce. And marinates for about two to four hours. So you can mar have it marinating, bring it with you to the tailgate, yeah. and then and grill it there as well. So on our side, we're going to do is a quick and healthy Greek potato salad. All right, and you brought so all the ingredients easy. to, to yes. demonstrate that for us. And so we have Kalama, Kalamata olives help with the Greek flavor there, and then some cucumbers and red onion, and then a little bit of parsley. You can put a dash in, but I like to add some color, and then some feta cheese also adds a little bit of flavor as well as that Greek flavor. And then instead of using a mayonnaise base, we're using um, the Chobani yogurt again. So this is the non-fat plain. So you still get your tanginess. They're only using about a cup of it. So we're using about a half of a container. So we'll mix this together and then about one tablespoon of lemon juice. And that's it. It's really, and then you just can store this in the refrigerator and let the flavors mold together and go really well. Wow. Your tailgate. And uh, real quickly before we go, this is yes. this is my can you believe it uh, part of this whole meal here. The dessert with the pudding and whipped topping, raspberries. There are brownies in there as well. And yes. uh, with the recipe for this, this is five grams of fat and less than 200 calories per serving. Yes, and especially because we usually have like something very indulgent, like a big cookies. This can mm. really save you over 100 calories, even over 120 calories. Wow. And this is just like you mentioned. It has a little bit of brownies on the bottom. It has mixed of, of chocolate pudding and light Cool Whip or fat free Cool Whip, and then you have some strawberries and berries added to it. So you get some nutrition there. You still get that sweet flavor that you're looking for wow. for dessert. Well, some great options you see there on the bottom of your screen, the Meyer website, where you can find these and many other recipes. We'll also be posting these on our health section of WTVQ.com a little bit right. later because I know folks will be asking about those for sure. Thank you so much, Janine. <laughs> great, some great you. ideas. We'll be back with more news and weather after this.